Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, today I'm just going to do a quick video of um, footage I've collected over the uh, last couple of weeks and in February. Uh, it's nothing special, it's not uh, anything educational, just rather uh, a log of uh, what happens with weather patterns and uh, lure selection and w with bass. So um, the first thing I wanted to show you was, um, which happened in February, February 7th to be exact. Um, and the reason why I wanted to show you that is because there's all often speculation of, oh, you have to aim for the 60 degrees Fahrenheit mark uh, to start fishing the, the banks. That's when the, the bass move up. But even though the, the 60 degrees Fahrenheit is a, a fair um, point to aim at, um, unless you have weather stability, that 60 degrees is not going to mean anything. Um, if you have one day of 60 degrees Fahrenheit and the next day is going to cool down, those bass are not going to... Uh, move up into the banks uh, so what I'll show you here is the weather graph uh, uh, February and you'll see that the first uh, trend um, around the 60 degrees is only like about a day and after that it drops off again well I fished that day and it wasn't good uh, around the banks those bass were still holding deep then the next uh, above 60 degrees um, trend you'll see is actually a couple of days long and that's when it starts getting interesting because after that you also see that it uh, keeps pretty close to that 60 degrees Fahrenheit and that's when you have the weather stability uh, that's from the 5th of February onwards up to the 8th then it drops a little bit off as you can see here and then um, it stays roughly around that 60 degrees that is the time when it actually starts becoming interesting and um, I fished the 7th of February and uh, you know put on a big lure because I kind of think like well if the bass start moving into the uh, banks they uh, want to get rid of the fish that are uh, in their area so use the big lure that's all they wanted that day and uh, that was the first day um, that was uh, very successful fishing very shallow with big lures um, that was the 7th of February Skinny male on the Ganterelle. Took two casts after arriving, so there you go. Now, uh, another thing that I wanted to show you was this footage that I um, recently got. Um, I'd been fishing this creek uh, south of Dallas um, with big surface lures for, for quite some time. Ah, oh, very successful. Uh, there was a day where uh, a rain came through, didn't catch any fish, uh, everything was muddy. Next day, um, cleared up again. And I could not catch a single fish on big surface lures. Nothing. Couldn't raise anything, didn't see any bass, uh, nothing came up. So I thought, well, it's around that time where the crappies start moving into the creeks because they might uh, start to spawn. I hadn't heard of any reports, but I was. I thought, well, might as well give it a try. And I found a log that you can see in this part of the video that was sitting underwater. There's cra crappies that are stacked upon them. And what I noticed was that uh, the drains in the creek that are very shallow that usually hold a lot of fry have been washed out by the rain and so all the fry were sitting in the creek and were have been heavily fed upon by the crappie and what I also later figured out um, was that the bass were also feeding on the, that little fry um, so that was just the result of the rain coming through washing out the creek wash, washing out the drain and then changing the feeding behavior of those bats completely.
that's bad. <laughs> Oops. Uh, these are little hooks. Oh no. Oh boy. You might pop off. So that's a, a thing to note down, it's quite interesting to see what just a, a little bit of local um, rain can do in terms of uh, lure selection for bass. So um, in this footage you can obviously see nice spotted bass uh, having to go at a tiny little um, hard body lure that was intended for crappie. And uh, yeah, that's this is just interesting to see, always keep an open mind in terms of what's happening with the weather and uh, how it might affect the fishing. So. All right, thanks for watching, guys, and I uh, hope you enjoyed yeah, the this video. One hit. Oh, he wasn't going to come out. That is stuck in there. There we are. Far out. Check it out. That's a forearm and a bit, that one. Unbelievable. Not a fat fish, but just a healthy, healthy fish. Fantastic. Alright, let's put it back.